Hanukkah is a festival which is celebrated this time of year. Uh, it's a festival that occurred in a historical context with the uh, Maccabee Revolt. And is one in which we celebrate eight nights in which uh, lights play an important role within the festival itself. It's not part of the calendar, liturgical calendar, uh, of holidays that are prescribed in the uh, Torah itself because the Book of Maccabees is not only not in the Torah, but it's in the apocryphal literature, which is not part of the sanctioned or canonized scripture that we call Tanakh, which represents each of the three sections of the Bible, uh, others refer to as the Holy Scriptures and also the Old Testament. It was one in which the early rabbis in the Talmud debated as to whether it should be observed or not or how it should be done. And the general population won out. It's just nice to have the candles light and increasing the light one night each after the other to dispel with the, the darkness. But they also looked into it and then pulled in certain other connections with one of the prophets to be able to say, uh, Zechariah, to say uh, that it's not by might and not by power, but the Spirit of God, uh, Ruach Elohim, in which we prevail. And they said that that's what happened with the Maccabees, that we it was not their military prowess because they did not have that. They were guerrilla fighters in that sense. But th there was a uh, deep commitment and deep faith on their part, and that sustained them and actually brought them to victory to, to restore the ancient temple. There is a legend, as it were, that uh, when they did restore the, the, the uh, temple, it had been really trashed out, and there was not any of enough of the uh, sacred oil, olive oil, that was used to kindle uh, the eternal light that was there and for, to use for sacrifices, etc. But this cruise of oil that was only available for a short period of time uh, miraculously lasted for eight, eight days and until they could, you know, stomp on some more olives and make some more sacred olive oil and bring it down in, into the temple. And that story uh, and the legend, uh, the rabbis liked and kept it in uh, because of the symbolism it represented and that is light coming to the world. The Torah refers to uh, the Jewish people as a light unto the nations. So once again, light ties into to that particular analogy. And it is one in which became the predominant view within the rabbis that one lights the candles, one on the first night, two on the second night, so that by the time you get to the eight, you have filled the, the menorah with light and also filled the world with light, the light of God. For traditional recipes, interviews, and more on the celebration of Hanukkah, visit wbbjtv.com slash first night.